Angie Akers, AVP Pro Beach Volleyball player. And today my pro tip for you is how to improve your passing. With me is Angela Lewis, AVP star. So to go over the basics with passing, we're gonna start with our feet and work our way up. We have a wide base with one foot just slightly in front of the other because that's gonna help with movement forward and back. We're gonna have our knees bent in an athletic position so that we can make a good move to the ball. Um, next, we're gonna have one hand slapped over the other. We're gonna point our thumbs parallel together down at the ground and that's gonna lock our elbows out so that we have a nice platform right here. Next, when we contact the ball, we're gonna move our feet and make sure that we get our hip outside the ball so that we're contacting on our midline. This is very important because if you've got wind blowing and it blows outside your body and you don't get your hip outside the ball, your margin of error goes up because your arms are out here. But if I block the ball with my hip, now I've got a sturdy platform right in front of me and I can pass the ball right back to my target. Um, the next most important thing is that our platform faces the target. So if Angela is my target, my platform is always going to face her no matter where I am. Uh, the next tip is the closer that I get to my target, the higher my platform is going to be. So if I'm close to her and pat need to pass straight up and down, my platform is going to be higher than if I'm back and need to pass the ball forward. So we're going to see it in action right here. She moves her feet to the ball. She gets her hip around, has a nice platform, and lifts the ball right back to me. Now let's see her move short and see what her platform does. It's nice and level. Very good. And deep, the deeper she is, the lower her platform is. Nice. Very good. Okay, so a, a couple common questions with passing is how do you hold your hands? And the, to me, the most important thing is that your thumbs are parallel and they're pointing down at the ground. So I don't care if you cross like this or like this or like this, but as long as your thumbs are parallel and they're pointed down at the ground, that's going to give you a solid platform and lock your elbows out. Uh, you do not want an elbow break like this because then the ball's going to go back behind you. You want solid platform and finish to target. So this is what it looks like no matter if you're here or here or like I do it here. And I prefer this way because I can hold on to my hands and one arm won't be higher than the other because I've got a good grip with my hands right there and it's easy to just put your hands together like that. Um, another misconception with passing is that crossover steps to, uh, to move to the ball and the reason you don't want to do that is because with the wind coming in, as soon as I take this crossover step and a wind gust brings the ball back this way, I'm stuck. I can't move back that way for the ball. So if I stay here and shuffle, I can make small adjustment steps and shift any way that the ball goes with the wind. So with passing, let's go over the key points again. We've got a nice wide base so that we're sturdy and we can move in any direction. Our knees are bent. Um, our platform is sturdy, hands, thumbs pointed at the ground so that our elbows are locked out. We, we pass off our platform right here. Uh, we get our hip around the ball so that our platform can face the target. This also makes it easier for those high balls that are coming in here. If your hips are, are locked straight forward, then I can't drop my shoulder to face my target. It's a lot harder. But if my hip gets outside the ball here, then I can drop the shoulder and get the ball right to my target. So that is my pro tip for you.